in this video we will be solving a numerical related to the joint distribution. So the problem statement says that the random variables x and y have following joint distribution. So we have to find the marginal distribution firstly and then covariance and correlation of x and y. So firstly finding the marginal distribution we know that marginal distribution of x can be written as f of x we can write f of x here so it can be written as 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.5 so this would be f of x1 and here uh, f of x2 would be f of x1 is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 and this is f of x2 here and that is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 that is again 0 0.5 so if you add f of x1 and f of x2 we get the value as 1 right so now let's let, let's look into the marginal distribution of y it can be written here as g of y g of y g of y1 this part g of y1 is the sum of 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 these two that is 0 0.4 similarly g of y2 that is 0 0.3 now calculating g of y2 that is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 that is 0 0.3 similarly g of y3 would be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 that is 0 0.3 so when we add g of y1 g of y2 and g of y3 we get 1 so we can uh, say that the marginal values of uh, the marginal distribution values of x and y are correct so now let's look into the covariance so let's write the covariance formula that is cov of xy is equal to expectation of x y minus e of x into e of y so this is our first equation so first let's find e of x value e of x is x into this x into f of x this and this so x1 into f of x1 plus x2 into f of x2 that is 1 into 0 0.5 and 2 into 0 0.5 so we get it as 0 0.5 plus 1 that is 1.5 next we have e of y e of y would be this y1 into g of y1 y2 into g of y2 and y3 into g of y3 that is minus 3 into 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 into 2 plus 4 into 0 0.3 so when we solve this we will get 0 0.6 okay so next let's write e of xy value e of xy is x1 y1 into j11 x1 y2 into j12 x1 y3 into j13 similar like that only we have to keep on adding it so 1 into minus 3 is minus 3 minus 3 into 0 0.1 is minus 3 into 0 0.1 plus 2 into 0 0.2 plus 4 into 0 0.2 so this part is completed now 3 into minus minus 3 into 2 is minus 6 into 0 0.3 plus 2 2 is 4 into 0 0.1 plus 4 2 is 8 into 0 0.1 so when we solve this we get 0 0.3 so now substituting the value of e of x y e of x and e of y in first equation we get covariance of x y is equal to e of x y is 0 0.3 minus 1.5 into 0.6 so uh, if we solve this we will get minus 0 0.6 so this is the covariance value of uh, x y now let's write the correlation value that is correlation of xy can be written as 
COV of XY by sigma x into sigma y. This is our second equation. So here sigma x is under root of V of x and V of x is E of x square minus E of x ka whole square. So we know E of x value is E of x value is 1.5. But e of x square value we don't know. So let's find out e of x square value first. E of x square value can be written as x1, x1 square f of x1 plus x2 square f of x2. So that will be 0 0.5 plus 2 that is 2.5. So we have found out the value of e of x square and e of x we know. So let's substitute here. That will be 2.5. 2.5. Uh, minus 1.5 whole square. If we solve this, we get 0 0.25. So V of x value we have found out that is 2.5. So now sigma x that is under root of 0 0.25 that is 0.5 is equal to sigma x. So we have found out the value of sigma x. Now sigma y is under root of V of y. So V of Y is E of Y square minus E of Y whole square. So here we know the value of E of Y as 0 0.6. E of Y square value we don't know. That we have to calculate which would be Y1 square into G of Y1 plus Y2 square into G of Y2 plus y3 square into g of y3. So if you solve this, you get the value as, you get the value as um, 9.6. So we know the value of e of y square that is 9.6 minus, we know e of y is 0 0.6, so 0 0.6 whole square. So if you do this, you'll get the answer as 9.24. Next, v, v of y value we have got 9.24. Now, sigma y is equal to under root of v of y. That will be under root of 9.24. That is 3.04 is equal to sigma y. So, we have calculated the value of sigma x and sigma y. Substitute it in the second equation. So, we will get it as correlation cov of xy by sigma x sigma y is equal to uh, covariance value we know minus 0 0.6 by sigma x value we know sigma x value we know that is uh, sigma x value is 0 0.5 and sigma y value is 3.04 if you solve this you get it as minus 0 0.3947 so this is the correlation value so i hope you have understood how to solve this numerical if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.